Welcome to Tia's Try Travel. Today is about everything big. Big biscuits and something even bigger, but you're gonna have to stay tuned. Morning. We are at the Handsome Biscuit for breakfast here in right out right outside of downtown Norfolk. Uh, it's just a local place. It has like what Chris like one or two locations here. I got egg, cheese, and sausage. Chris got egg, cheese, and bacon. So let's try it. Oh my! Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize the yolk was over easy. This is like a sausage McMuffin times a hundred. Very good. I did have to add salt, but I add salt to everything. Mm. What a mess. Welcome to the Nautilus Museum in downtown Norfolk, Virginia and the USS Wisconsin, known by her crew as the Big Whiskey. It does not get any bigger than this. Let's start our journey. So February 28th in 91, this ship fired the 16-inch guns in battle for the last time. And in 2000, she did a she Once began as a permanent museum here in Norfolk. The battleship is called to arms, dispatched to the Mideast. Birth today at the National Maritime Center in Norfolk, Virginia, the USS Wisconsin was the last authorized of the four mighty Iowa-class battleships, the largest American dreadnoughts ever built. Wisconsin, or Big Whiskey as it was affectionately nicknamed, enjoyed a service life that spanned six decades and three conflicts. At any one time, there were over 2,500 service members on board. We're standing on the decks of the USS Wisconsin. Um, we just finished watching a movie about everything that she went through, and it's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This feels real. I mean... So these guns behind us... Yeah. No. I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, these guns behind us shoot projectiles that weigh as much as a small car. Uh, you know, only, only 2,000 pounds. Yeah. But this gun, you can't see it on video, but this is... No, you can't see the scope of it. Our truck is literally probably one-fourth the length of that yeah. gun there. Maybe one-third. That's just massive. I mean, wow. You don't realize how big these are until you get on them? Nope. I mean, there's there's the little guns over there. Show those that look massive. Bit. And those are like twice as big as a person. Those are the little guns. Oh, heck no, this is easy. So we are at the very bow of the ship. Right there. Sorry. I thought you were pointing at me. Nope. I'm the important part up here. <laughs> this battleship is almost three football fields long. Football. Wow. You cannot say football. Football. This is our third try at doing this. This is th almost three football fields long. Yay. <laughs> and almost 17 stories high from the to the very bottom. To the keel? Is that what it's called? Yes. Is, is that what they said? Yes, that's what they said. I thought they meant if they turned it. No. Standing on. You don't measure a, a ship that way. Okay, 17 stories up to here. I didn't yeah. realize that. I mean, it yeah. looks like it's far up. It's obvious I can't yeah. see the keel, but wow. So let's keep exploring. I'm 5'5", five five, and this is how tall the shell is that comes out of those big guns. We can 
can get in the turret. We can? <gasps> There's secret stairs I just found. Let's do it. thoughts about that god bless sailors god bless that the amazing? navy i mean i was i was ready to get out after about 45 seconds in there such small spaces and the guns would be going off and you're just locked there's this room where you just get locked in like you went in right next to the guns and you're locked in and... wow the citadel which is the middle third of the ship it's a belt of heavy steel armor that protects all the vital components necessary for the battleship survival. The crew, the officer spaces, turrets, conning tower, and steering gears are all protected by the Citadel. If nuclear warheads were on board, a Marine Corps detachment would be stationed on board and they would patrol the missile deck. This small compartment here would sound an alarm and a full team of heavily armed Marines would be deployed. Standing next to the air intake and there's a beautiful cool breeze coming through. Wisconsin joined the Navy's fleet in the autumn of 1944, but it made up for its late appearance in the war by playing a major role in some of the biggest operations of the Pacific Campaign, earning five battle stars. Decommissioned after the Korean War, the Wisconsin returned to service just before Operation Desert Storm. Within days of the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, the USS Wisconsin was steaming for the Persian Gulf. Big Whiskey's final shots were fired on February 28, 1991. They would be the last salvos in history ever delivered in combat by a battleship. I'm going to turn the camera off so I don't fall down these stairs. Just down from those stairs. It looks like. Quarters. I think this is the library, so I don't think you can get away with not returning a book on this ship. Although it is big. Look, it has even the little library classification system. Is that what it's called? Dewey Decimal. Hello. Experience the ship in air conditioning. 
I step right in here and it's about 30 degrees cooler than the rest of the ship. And you can check out all the live feeds of all the cameras. Can't tell you where this room is because this ship is so big and just a giant maze, but it exists. Until about noon, maybe a quick lunch. Afternoon, there were usually drills and evolutions going on in the ship, which I generally... I found the door out. <laughs> we have been on this ship for almost two hours now, and we've only done the top deck and half of the second deck down, which is like the main crew quarters. This ship is unbelievable. We watched a little video beforehand, and it was people that served on this ship were sharing some of their stories. And one of them was like, I was lost for weeks on this ship. I totally understand. All the doorways look the same, all the hallways. Um, I, I don't know how long it would take you to get oriented to this ship, but it's just absolutely massive. It feels so claustrophobic to me, just the way it is. I can't imagine if this was full of people um, and on the ocean going, you know, up and I just, this is a really cool experience. I wish I could do more since literally we've only been on two levels. That's about as much as I can do, so. What's you doing? I'm looking up rules. For what? We're renting ourselves a scooter. Ooh. An e-scooter. This ought to be fun. Did you bring band-aids? <laughs> Check the brakes, wear a helmet, kick to start, only one ride per scooter, no drunk riding. Okay, using my Apple Pay, no idea how much it is. Hope it's not expensive. Um, can you give me the bigger wheel? Which one do you I want? I don't know, that one right there, and this one, this one, the this bigger one? wheel, yeah. Okay, so. Because I'm on group ride, I'm going to scan in for another. Scan the QR code. All right. Do I have charge? Um, I don't know. There's an exclamation point. Well, that's no good. Oh, shoot. This is a bad idea. I'm a pro, remember? Go, 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 go. I think this is it, Chris. <sighs> so next on our big adventure is a big personality, one of the biggest of World War II, Douglas MacArthur. And we're at the Douglas MacArthur Memorial Museum.
You want to tell me about it so far? You can take well, your mask off. We won the war. That's good news. It's a memorial. I don't want to take too many jokes. He's buried here. I mean, it just has a ton of his uh, war memorabilia, um, all the big moments that he participated in. Um, Did you learn anything new? I mean, you kind of knew a lot about him before. Yeah, I don't so. know if I learned much new. Um, no, I didn't really learn anything new, but it's really neat to see all that stuff that was his personal stuff that they put in the museum here. So. Yeah. We get to see his corn cob pipe downstairs. Yep. Yeah. You I want might, one just like it? I might get one on the way out. Okay. <laughs> General Douglas MacArthur was a big personality. I mean, his his life influenced the entire world for decades and it still influences so much. Mexico, to the Philippines, to the Far East, Australia, all of that has been shaped by uh, MacArthur's career. We're standing in front of the visitors, the MacArthur Visitor Center. There's not a whole lot right now um, going on in there. They're in the middle of changing out the displays and stuff, um, but the actual memorial itself is done really well. What did you get? I stole this out of the case. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I didn't. I really bought it. <laughs> My own cord cop pipe. Are you going to stand like him now? Smoke your pipe? I don't think he had. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so crab legs are my absolute favorite. I reached out to a food blogger that I follow on Facebook. His name is Yummo Bucko, and this is where he recommended. So we are at Boyle Bay. This is the Blue Island Splash, which is Bacardi, Malibu, Blue Curacao, and Pineapple Juice. She said it usually comes with a pineapple, but they're all out. Mm. So tropical and yummy. The most important part of any crab boil. Supposed to pop it? Oh, that was dramatic. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So a trick I learned is you turn the bag inside out or else you end up getting this stuff all over. Oh, this looks so good. I found out that I like scissors. I feel like scissors help me get access more than the claw does, so. See? Mm. This is some first world problems. It is. I can't get my crab. Ooh! What? Ooh! Finally! Work it off. So while Beth is over here devouring these poor crabs, I just realized something about myself. I've always said I don't like messy foods, but I think that it's not because I don't like messy foods, because like soup I'll eat and it'll get in my beard and it doesn't stop me from eating soup. I think it's on my hands and I had a big clue. 
I don't like that. I did it. You didn't eat a potato. I left a potato. I didn't feel like eating it. Crab was better, now I'm full. Ah. So that was a delicious dinner. Chris, did you enjoy it? I did. So thank you Yamabucko for the recommendation. It was fantastic. Mm. So thanks for joining us today. We had a great day in downtown Norfolk. So please join us next video. Bye.